Hello my friends, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we did this order at work last week. It was actually an order for a customer and they wanted this beautiful black and gold and white buttercream swipe technique. But they also wanted to make it their own. Well, we like to make it their own. We had a picture to go on, inspiration picture, but we don't like to copy exactly. So what we did was we add some gold and some black spheres to it, chocolate spheres. So we're going to get started by putting our final layer of buttercream on our crumb coated cakes. This cake was a six inch and an eight inch two tiered cake. And there are three layers of cake, two layers of filling. I'm just using the, the same American buttercream that I normally use, which I always try to remember to leave a link for so that you can give it a try yourself. And this was pretty fresh, so it was nice and white. Now just make sure you get a good coating on there and then you scrape off the extra, holding your hand level at, what is that, a 90 degree angle? Up and down about a 45 degree angle, angled back is how I get my best results when I am crumb or applying buttercream to the cake. And then I needed to make the chocolate spheres and I'm using these different sized sphere molds. They're made out of silicone and they are excellent. And I just melted some, um, they're black candy melts, which before they dry, they look a little bit more of a dark, dark gray, but as they oxidize and dry, they uh, and cool down they get darker so for the smaller ones i just filled them all the way up and tapped out the air bubbles for the medium and the large i didn't want to use so much chocolate so i just went ahead and poured it in the molds about a half a way up and then used the spoon to pull it up to the edges of the mold and i just used what was in the middle of the medium sized ones to kind of fill in for the large ones because I was kind of running a little bit low on my chocolate and I needed a little bit extra. So I know that I'm going to turn these silicone molds upside down and that extra chocolate is going to drip out onto the parchment paper. So um, that would be waste. And I went ahead and just used it in the large ones. And as soon as you get that chocolate covering your silicone mold, tip them upside down to cool and then that way your um, chocolate will come to the bottom which is actually the top and create a good rim on the edge so that for attaching and this is after I had let them cool in the refrigerator and you just pop them out that only took about maybe 15 minutes to cool you can see where that chocolate kind of pulled down to the bottom on the parchment paper that's what I was talking about and see how they're so much darker now and shiny. I'm just gonna use my saucepan on top of my little burner on low. And all you're doing is melting that very bottom of the sphere and then sticking them together. And I'm using my gloves because I don't wanna get fingerprints on them. The heat from your hands will melt the chocolate a little bit, even candy melts, it will smudge it. And I'm using, this is my grandma's little creamer bowl. Oh no, sugar bowl for her coffee. It's kind of neat that I get to use that in my cakes now. And I just have some drages in there and then I add some gold luster dust and put the chocolate in there and it sticks right to it. This is a really quick way to um, add the gold to chocolate spheres. You don't have to airbrush them. You don't have to paint it on, just do this. So much easier. You can use a plastic baggie if you don't have my grandma's sugar bowl. <laughs> and then I use a fluffy brush just to remove the excess of the luster dust and that's where the shine really comes through. You're kind of buffing them a little bit. And to do this buttercream swipe, I just added black gel food coloring to my normal buttercream. Now, if you're a little um, standoffish on adding dark colors to your buttercream but you still want this design just remember keep it in mind this th there's very little of the black that is actually applied to the cake so you're not going to taste a funny off taste or anything like that 
And then I put it on with a flatter brush and then I'm going back in with a small pastry brush to kind of wisp it up, to kind of bring it up to kind of a peak at the top and make it a little bit more abstract with that. And then you're just gonna do this all the way around your cake. Once you've applied all of that, go ahead and use a wet paper towel to remove the extra from your board because black might stain your board just a little bit, even the coated ones. And then I'm just using bubble tea straws measured to the same height in a star pattern. The five points of a star is what I use, a star cutter. Impress it on the top and then use those points to put your supports in. And then just add a little buttercream and then I lift that top tier right on both of my tears have been chilled in the freezer for about 20 minutes, so they're nice and firm. You don't have to worry too much about it. And then I just filled in, I call that caulking, cake caulking. You fill in with some buttercream, remove the excess to get rid of that, that gap in between your two tears. Then I sharpened a dowel, cut it to a little bit below the height of the cake, about two inches below, and then I am literally just hammering this in to go through both of the boards and that's what's going to be your, keep it from, um, if it happens to get jostled around, that top tier is not gonna wiggle loose. And then I hammered that in down below the surface, filled in with a little buttercream and removed the extra off the top. It's just that easy. And then I am just using the same gold luster dust mixed with some Everclear. And I'm just brushing on the high points of those swiped pieces of buttercream pieces sections what's the word you know what i'm saying the raised parts of each of those swipes just to emphasize that a little bit i don't want to go too crazy with the gold but you want to make sure you get enough kind of place it um intentional but random at the same time add little pieces here and there like right there that aren't on the bottom going all the way up because you don't want it to just be stripey right it's striped but more abstract. Abstract is the only word that I can come up with to describe what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> and yeah, just go ahead and make sure that you make it a little bit more random yet intentional. Now this is the fun part guys. This is where you can take your frustrations out of your from your day on your cake. Use that same paint, add a little bit more luster dust to it. I'm sorry, Everclear to it to thin it out a little bit. Dip it in your, your brush in it and literally just launch it at your cake. Just throw it at your cake. Get over the fact that you feel like you are just kind of demolishing all that work. You're not, this is intentional, this is the design. So just go for it. And then I'm just attaching the spheres with a little bit of buttercream. And something I don't show, um, for some reason I didn't film it, I don't know why. I think I just got wrapped up in the whole excitement of what I was doing. And to um, kind of shine up those black spheres, I did use a little bit of uh, some veggie oil with a brush and just kind of brushed it over the top and that made them so shiny. You'll see that in the last picture. And then it brought the color from a dark, dark, dark gray to a light black to black. And then I'm adding a little, some more um, random sized gold dragees.
So there it is all done. See how that shined up those black ones? So pretty. So if you've made it this far and you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed, please take the time to do that. I would be so greatly appreciated. And hit the notification bell and that way you see when I upload. And I appreciate you watching, guys. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.